Texas Gala Traders Help Desk, and I'm recording the non-farm employment. I'm actually long on gold, but I have a lot of other positions on. Um, I've got one on the euro dollar, and that's the third largest mover during the non-farm employment. You can see I've got 10 contracts to the upside, 10 contracts to the downside, using a combination of a spread in a binary. Now, in addition to that, I also have um, the U.S. CAD. I've got four positions on. And the highest mover, which is the USD JPY, I have a combination of 3 p.m. and 9 a.m. spreads as well as 9 a.m. binaries. I do have um, profit targets set on all of the binaries just in case it pops up, hits my target. Uh, and gets filled. So I'm going to pause the screen and we'll see what happens after the release. Now, one of the reasons I'm also trading the US CAD is because they have their unemployment rate announcement as well as their unemployment rate. So um, their employment rate and the unemployment rate, I should clarify that. So normally that also moves the CAD so a lot of positions on um, both long and short just in case the market goes against me you can see i don't have a lot of risk on any of these i don't think i did more than uh i think the 2750 was the highest uh risk that i did and that was on gold so we're going to wait and see what happens Okay, as you can see, the market report did come out. And again, one of the reasons I have the profit targets here is because this moves very, very quickly. Okay, I'm going to start taking profits.